Well, hello there. <laughs> and today I'm back at it again. Sorry for my shirt. And I do have new hair. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> if this is the first video you're seeing on the channel, I'm sorry. Like, really, I'm sorry. But let's just get right into this thing because I had to turn off my fan and close my window, so it's getting really hot in here. <laughs> Because I had to set up all this stuff. And I'm filming this on the 17th of July. Because I know I'll be going away for a while. So I'm, I pre-filmed a bunch of videos. And this is the last one I have to film. So, mind space, here we go. Might re-film this because, duh. But... <sighs> Today, uh, today, <laughs> today we're going to do a wrap up, as you can see from the title, duh. Um, I only read two books this month, and yeah, let's just get right into them. Please say that you didn't just see <laughs> the other book, or or any of the books, but the first book I have to talk about is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. So, for those of you who may not know about this book, this is an enemy to lovers co-workers romance. They are fighting for the same job. Uh, Lu Lucy and... Oh, Josh. Yeah, Josh. <laughs> are fighting from the same job and it's amazing so i give this book four stars and that was because it rocked there were times when i kind of just rolled my eyes at the book but it's i think it's was published in like 2015 and there are some jokes that did not age well but 2016 there is a bunch of fat jokes that did not age well that's the only reason why i'm giving this four stars probably and also because it was not a five star book like i'm sorry it was just not but pretty good one i don't know how i managed to not talk about it in detail but what i would not recommend is going uh, going into this um, without preparing for a steamy romance because there's tension um, and I'm just gonna say this um, before like the part before they become kind of lovers is not very long this is about a 400 page book or 300 a 360 page book so this is not going to be your kind of your cup of tea if you need a lot of time for the enemies to lover enemies to lovers to be actually lovers which is why I did not give it five stars but this is not the book that I really want to talk about this month but it's the other one that I read because well that for me that book basically has put me into reading stuff right now. I have not read, I think, in a week, like anything. Not really even Wattpad. Like I read a few chapters of Wattpad. Like that's how this book has made me see things. <sighs> and I'm so disappointed right now. It's the one by John Marsh. I have this awful cover. I don't like it. I accidentally broke the spine, so. If anyone who wants to take this book, like, take it. I, I, I won't even ask, like, a penny for it. Like, oh my god, no. As you can see, this book was not my favorite. <laughs> it, I gave it two stars. And if I'm honest, I should have probably just made this, made it, like, a completely, like, uh single video just about this book and my feelings on it so i'm gonna quickly go into spoiler free thoughts and then i'll rant a bit because i am just so done <laughs> so um the story is about a 
world where there's this advanced it's it's a bit it's supposed to be a thriller i think it was marketed as a thriller which is not i would rather say this is more like a romance book but with multiple povs multiple romance plots going at once it's like kind of like what is it called valentine's day or love action i don't remember um i think it's love actually i i don't know but there are like different relationships going on at the same time in the book um so it's a book with a sci-fi element uh where there's a app that you can find your dns soulmate on I've read this in Hungarian, so I'm sorry if I'm not using the greatest of terms, but um, this book was not what I expected. The thriller element is very irrelevant <laughs> and very little. I do not like to trash on books, but oh my god. Um... The only storyline I cared about has just basically turned into nothing. Uh, the plot twists were just so predictable that it hurt. Um, and yeah. So, now I want to go into spoilers. Because, well, yeah. So, first of all... Spoilers, spoilers, I'm gonna say this again, spoilers, if you don't want again to spoil it for this book, which I don't understand why it would not be, but go ahead, then you might want to skip this part. So first of all, there's five perspectives, I think, and there's Mandy, a girl who uh, completes this whole test and it turns out that her Diana's partner it's not even Diana's what is it called DNA oh my god I'm missing the wrong thing DNA DNA partner I'm gonna correct this in the non sorry part as well her DNA partner is like a hot guy. And later in the story, it turns out he's dead. Or not really. Or wait. <laughs> I mean, first of all, what the heck? Second of all, all the plot twists. Um, there's this part where... I'm going from person to person, if you can't see that. There's this part where she has his baby because they had his sperm at the donor bank and it's basically pretty clear that the family only wanted the baby and not her and for some reason that is supposed to be a secret to us okay and also her dna partner i think it's uh richard is alive and well not well but is in an institution and things go down there but other pov hopefully i can remember all ellie um is basically the maker of this whole program and she finds her supposed soulmate and it's this guy called tim who is very sketchy like at the first few chapters of her point of view, I was like, oh, he's cute. And then I was just kind of like, oh, no, he's about to screw her over. I didn't know in what way or why, but I knew he was about to screw her over. So it turns out Tim is not Tim. He's actually Matthew. And um, I don't want to get into it, but Ellie ruined his mother's life. And that's why she killed herself. I think it is, or she died in a fire, whatever, doesn't matter, her mother is dead, and her father is living with another woman far away just because of Ellie's app, and then he hacked into the system, made a couple of uh, false 
uh, DNA partners to make Ellie's whole app go down, basically, and put her and Matthew, aka him, together as DNA partners, and he made her fall in love with him so that she could feel how it is to be basically duped. Get it? I don't know why, it just, it wasn't it. Now, uh, let's get on to the Jade's storyline. Jade um, has a DNA partner that's far away from her in Australia. Um, meets him, finally goes to see him, turns out he's sick. Rough cut. Hopefully that didn't look bad. So Jade uh, flies away to see her DNA partner. Uh, don't remember. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Ah, I know. Kevin. Um, who is, turns out to be sick. And then they have this like whole melancholy like days and everything. And then they, on um, one of his last days, they get married. I mean, Jade and Kevin. And... But throughout this whole experience, she started to have feelings for, not for Kevin, but his brother, Mark. And, and when that happened, I was just like, so Mark is his actual soulmate, not Kevin, and someone switched things up, right? So it turns out, Kevin dies after days after his wedding, and, um... There's this mutual pining between Mark and Jade for a while, and then um, they finally have at it. I mean, it's a fade to black have at it, if I remember correctly. Hopefully, I remember correctly. Um, by the way, this has a lot of things mentioned that's pretty spicy. I'll, I'll leave that as a trigger warning. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Um, also, so they have at it, and then um, Mark's mom catches them after they were just cuddling at, at the end of it, and obviously she freaks out. But then Mark explains that he actually switched over souls so that Kevin could be happy because he, his DNA partner, has, he hasn't had a match yet. And wanted to make him happy, but his actual, uh, but Mark's actual DNA partner is Jade. So, happy together, I guess. There are two, still two POVs of this left, so you can see how irritated I am. I'm just like, I, I can't, like, these twists, like, I saw them coming from a mile away, and it just, <clears throat> other one. Okay, here we go. I'm leaving my uh, the one I had the most hope in for last. I'll explain why. So, Christopher and I've, Amy, Amy, Christopher and Amy was at the first one of the most funny uh, storylines, one of them. The other one is the last I will be talking about. Uh, Christopher is a circular. Yay! <laughs> you go! You go, boy. But he plans to kill 30 women in the same way to be known as the most, like, uh, spontaneous killer in disappearing and appear, Like, in appearing and disappearing. So, he does the same exact killings while dating Amy, a policeman. It, it, it was fun in the first half of it, and then... I knew something was about to happen, and when she, uh, when he walked into Last Killing and said, like, the scene looked off, I was just like, and Amy caught her, um, Amy caught him, so that's what happened, and the way she caught him was by the tears he shed onto one of the, uh, one of the victim's bodies, which I caught, and I was just like, you're gonna get caught, boy. Um, yeah, so, 
Amy killed Christopher, which was a sub. Look, I did not expect that, and I don't think it fit Amy, but we didn't get much about the partners other than the last one I'll be talking about because that will be a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. But they finish it with kind of Amy going like, oh, yeah, he'll be the last of his, like, because Christopher got to, like, 29 and he was about to go to his 30th and... It turns out that Amy kind of killed him, and that was the 30th skill, and I think then she exits the, uh, doesn't even exit the police station, so she stays in and just pretends nothing happened. Wow. Like, weird. Um, yeah, but... Now, let me get started on the fifth POV, which was my favorite. But... <laughs> Let me get into it. So, uh, this uh, DNA um, finder thingy doesn't really concern. It doesn't concern it that two of the people that it's getting together are both the same gender. You see where I'm going with this. Um, there was a POV of Nick and Alex. And both of them had girlfriends, and they are supposed to be straight. So, it was weird for me, but it, it just, it just fit. And then, because they both had girlfriends, it was kind of hard for them to meet. They did not cheat, which I'm really, really, like, amazed by. Because I hate cheating in books, and I was just like... This would have gotten a one star if it had cheating. Like we all know it would have, but um, turns out that Sally is a uh, Sally Nick's girlfriend says she's pregnant from him. So first I thought Nick literally jumped out of the window and just died, and and I started crying. <laughs> That wasn't a good experience, but no, he left Alex for Sally and their baby. And then later it turns out that the baby isn't even his. Yeah, right? Amazing. And then in the end, they have a half-heartedly done, we are back together again. If you can see the amount of annoyance I have on my face right now. Like, what the actual heck? So, I guess that kind of concludes our wrap-up, so spoilers over. But, I did not mention some things that I wanted to about this book in the spoiler-free section yet. I don't know if I've been seeing this. It's DNA. It's DNS in Hungarian, so that's why I must have been seeing it wrong for maybe hold the whole entire video. Great. Um, but the other thing is that please be prepared that this book has some like steamy things, but like but the sex scenes are fade to black, basically. <laughs> that like the, the the doing the deed are fading to black, basically. That that that's it. But hated this book. If anyone wants to have it, like literally anyone. I mean, if, if, if you're my friend, because then I could send it away, like, write me a message. I know I can't send it, like, anywhere but Hungary. Not even in Hungary. Like, <laughs> I just want to burn this, and I'm not even kidding. Like, I just want to, like, rip all of the pages out and just... Or just throw it out of the window. That works, too. Yeah. I guess I'll be concluding that in our God in our July wrap up and I guess I'll try to see you guys next week. Don't know if I will because I won't be here but I'll try. So peace out. <laughs>